We are Alex Anderson and Tyler Johnson, and we chose to do Lewy body dementia for our case study challenge. The reason we chose this is because my grandpa, um, on my dad's side, was diagnosed with Lewy body dementia. He suffered from LBD and other complications for 10 years before passing away from his complications. He was also diagnosed with Parkinson's around the same time, so it became unclear if he got the LBD as a progression of the Parkinson's, which can happen, or if he had the LBD and then he developed the Parkinson's. He was taking medications at the time, but the control was not very effective, and all you can do is treat the symptoms, like the depression and whatnot, so you can't directly cheat, treat Lewy body dementia. Each and every year he lost strength and ended up losing control of his body so he could not walk or feed himself. Quick history on LBD. Um, it was first described 40 years ago. It's now recognized as one of the top three causes of dementia, but there is still no cure or direct treatment and you cannot diagnose it with a simple test. It's just a clinical diagnosis so it can easily be misdiagnosed. Um, some symptoms, uh, you have changes in thinking and reasoning and confusion is very common and I experienced that a lot with my grandpa. He was always very confused and you have varied alertness. Sometimes he'd be alert and 10 minutes later he would just be out of it. He also had many hallucinations, which also made it tough just due to the fact that he was seeing things and believed he was seeing things that he wasn't really seeing. As far as treatments go, there currently isn't a treatment um, that directly will help fix the disease. Um, there is a few treatments that they use in order to slow down the progression um, as well as sort of mask the symptoms. Uh, cholinesterase inhibitors uh, they use for certain uh, symptoms. These drugs uh, are used mostly for, for treating the, the thinking changes that take place with this disease, uh, especially with the, the Lewy body side of it. Colon, uh, common use of antidepressants mainly SSRIs. This basically just helps the, the depression that, that generally comes along with, with this disease. Clonazepam is used to treat rapid eye movement, sleeping disorder, and antipsychotics need to be used with extreme caution because more than 50% of people will see side effects from the treatments. The molecular influence, uh, Lewy body formation is the first step. These Lewy bodies form in the brain and what that causes is the the overabundance of proteins to form in this location which shuts off um, pathogenesis and that's what causes the neuron loss. With the loss of neurons people with LBD lose ability to function normally and that is very common with this disease and also looks a lot like the the other dementias, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. Lewy bodies keep forming um, and cause more neuron loss over time. So as, as this disease progresses, it just continually gets worse. In this pymol molecule, you can see here, there's the two large yellow Lewy bodies in the middle. And those take over and that'll start to form the proteins um, that kind of pile up there and that takes over the rest of, of the neurons there.